If I can get a bigger fish to hit the BKD. I'm gonna check the BKD. He's a lot behind us. He's hooked up, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him. What you got there, Timmy? I'm trying to throw that hook. Wow. I'm gonna drive it. Yes, sir. Ooh, thank you, Captain. A little white and chartreuse hooked up bait. Yeah. Oh, a tiny one, huh? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Captain. A little hookup bait. <laughs> Deadly. I'm going to give Tim the same color. Well, he just had one on that, right? Woo! The nose is running like a son of a gun. <laughs> That brown color. All right, bring them to me. Oh, pull up more. Okay. There you go. Good looking fish. Good job on that brown hookup Thank bait. You. Oh, yeah. We'll see them around us, behind us. Are oh, they all up, up, up wind? Man, my hand is frozen and I love it. Yep, followed your bait right up. Just a brief question here. So how are you working that thing, Tom? You sinking it? Yeah, I'm just trying to go to the sink and bring it back up. Yeah. Him is hooked up. All right, step to the back. You guys taking a little line. That's all right. You know what to do. <laughs> how were you working it? Were you sinking it? Let it sink or? A little bit, yeah. Doubled. Can I do it? Can I make it a triple? Oh, I just got tapped. What's that little casting reel still doing pretty good? That's a nice one, Tim. It's a pretty one. The one that brown one? Yeah. Yeah, he's doing good with the brown one. That's great. There we go. There we go. Hopper? Nope. Hook up bait. I like these because you get to work the bait. You don't just cast and retrieve. You got him, Yeah. Man, he inhaled that one, did he? Those little ones just gone. Dang. Look how he inhaled that bait. This is all white. That's a good one. Good job, bro. Oh yeah. What'd you break, Crusher? I have Crusher and Crusher 2 on the boat. What'd you break? Uh, not, nothing. There's a Comoran in the mix too. Side skin is full. They're all over the left side. See those fish all over the port side? There's bait there. Fish on the port. They look like. 
All right, you guys. If you haven't used these hookup baits before, you can see there's no paddle tail back here. So as you retrieve, any slight twitch of the rod and the thing jerks and twitches and goes up and down and left and right, you could actually make it so erratic that a fish almost can't get it. It's a great looking bait in the water, but you have to work it. It's not gonna do all the work for you, like a plastic swim shad. Oh, I just felt the fish whack it right away. Come on, come on. Uh, I think it's, there we go. But, so you can see how I was working it. If you just steadily retrieve it, even when I throw it through a big group of fish, it just doesn't, hello. That's screamer. Tommy, right here, man. Okay. So you see I had to really kind of work the bait, which is great, so I like about it. It's a cool little bait. And I liked it after 10 fish or so you can just replace the body. You don't have to replace the whole bait. Pretty fish. Good one. Look at that. That, look that white hook up bait, man. Things are deadly. Good job. Good job. Good job. Guys, when you're doing this by yourself, uh, when you're around birds, you want to get close. No birds. Okay. You want to get close, you want to get upwind, and you don't want to knock the birds away. If you get too close, the birds will fly away, and you need them around. They really help you. If you really start to annoy the birds a lot, they'll move, especially if there's lots of bait all around. They'll leave where you are and you'll kind of screw up and you'll scare away your best fish finder. Uh, it's nice today because there's only one other boat out here, so we don't have to worry about jockeying for position or screwing each other up. And there's lots of boats and you do everything right. And someone plows right through and scares them all away. Don't yell and scream. I mean, it feels like it. Your heart wants to explode. You want to scream at the guy, but he's just excited to catch a fish. He's not doing it on purpose. But if you get close enough to talk, talk to him. Just be nice about it. Add him to your network. All over the, all over the left side. All over the left side. So port side is loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it, I'm gonna kill it right here. Coast up through it, look at that. Dude, I've already ordered a replacement for this casking reel because I thought it'd be dead by now. And it's not. Oh, there we go. There go. Yeah. Little casking reel hooked up. Awesome. Not real big. It's fighting hard, but this little casking reel has been a Kind of funny, pleasantly surprising little thing. $50 reel. Fish over here. A little hookup bait. Here you go. Good job. Look at that little guy. <laughs> it's like a baby. It's a baby. It's a good sign. They're behind us thick now. They're in front of us, they're behind us. Let's go to the ones behind us, what do you think? That was great. 
Like you're trying to like be quiet and be slick. And it's like total great. <laughs> So funny, I had to do that. It's like the big people left. Oh, it's so good. It's so fun. Yep, there we go. Man, such a, a light tap, almost like it's a plastic worm. You know, they. The name for these baits is the perfect name. Yeah. It's like when you just want to stop playing and you just want to hook up. Just took like five casts with that 10 inch BKD, even though I know it's tiny bait, just to see. Never know, it might be bigger fish around. Nope. They don't want it. They're keyed in on these little baits. Throw anything that doesn't look like those little baits. Non-productive. Dude, this fish is so filled with bunker. Its belly's all distended. Tim, nope. they'll really just tap it sometimes, man. You'll just feel like the slightest tap. And they'll only hold it for a second. So when you feel that tap, anything that feels strange, just go ahead and yank. Like they're not always gonna take it out of your hand, you know? Look how fat this guy is. A little chubby bait on that hookup bait. Look at that little hookup bait. A little chubby fish. So fat. What bait are you throwing? Bro, side scan is lit up on both sides. Look at that. Woo! I haven't, uh, haven't really tried the flutter spoon yet. Wow, look at that, guys. Side scan is lit up. Goop it up. Got some stink for you, Tom, Tim. Want some stink? Dude, look at him breaking back there, right off front of you, Tommy. Tim, go throw it back there. Right behind you. Get, get. There we go. Hooked up. Tim, come back here. Drag the bottom. You feel a tick. Cross there. And I swear, dude, they just won't hold it. A little tick and a little tick and they drop it. This little cast game. I have about eight reels in this boat that are three hundred dollars and I'm using this little casting all day. <laughs> I got it. Got it? Yeah. Catch it. I'm hoping you can catch one off of this. They're all over the screen, guys. Side scan. All over the screen down there. They're everywhere down there. Nice. Tommy's hooked up. What did it feel like when he hit? Uh, he hit it, he let it go. And I kept with it. I kept tugging it and jerking it. And he hit it again and he made me very happy. <laughs> They're finicky, right? Yes. This year it's been very uh, very important to throw what they're eating. We, we'll go over to school these fish where they're just busting, busting, busting. You can see the lines coming out of the water. We throw a 10 inch bait and they just won't touch it. I mean, you could roll it right in front of them, they won't touch it. So we had to go to these smaller hookup baits a lot this fall. And even further, furthermore, we couldn't even use the brighter colors, you know, like these chartreuse, and even the chartreuse in blue. We had to use the more subdued colors because the water's been so clear. It hasn't had a lot of rain up here. So these browns with a white belly, a pearl, the more subdued colors and the smaller sizes, even this was a little big. Uh, 
the, really the size below this was kind of the best. And, uh, and if you know fish are present and you're seeing the fish and they're not biting, change it up, you know, drop it to the bottom, drag the bottom, they won't hit the bottom, bring it through the middle of the water column, bring it up just below the surface. And change out the bait go smaller go bigger change the color keep going until it works and the more guys you have the bigger your advantage work together you know have one guy throw a green one throw a yellow one throw a white one work the top one work the bottom talk to each other and get it figured out once you get it dialed in stick with that all day but uh, i've had guys on this boat where they change nothing and they catch only a few fish all day and everyone's caught you know 10 20 30 fish even and because they haven't dialed it in they haven't made any adjustments at all it's all about adjustments a lot of times some days you could do no wrong, but most of the days you're going to have to make adjustments. Screen's full. Screen is loaded. Fish on both sides. Look at that. I don't know if I can reach that. I think they want that popper. Oh, I just got thumped as I was walking to the back. There we go. Oh yeah, hook up bait, hook up bait. Yeah, no, they don't want that dang popper. At least I had one hit it, but I dropped it right on his head and he still didn't. Ooh, this is a good one. Tim, run back here, throw that green can. Tommy's hooked up. Is that popper? No. <laughs> they won't touch that dang thing. <laughs> Look at the screen, boys. Yeah, this time. Uh, spoon's gonna catch a big one. Let it hit the bottom, bro. I'm like, look at that screen. Oh, little hook up, baby. Let me see him. Did you show him the screen, the camera? Yeah, is he good? Yeah, he was uh, on this fish. And he was right at 28 size. Go, girl. Man, so many up and down there. Draw him into the shallow. Draw him in. Did you draw him in and drown him? Hey, Bodie, we're going in. Slow ahead. I can go slow ahead. Come down here and shovel some of this. Stand by for fire drill. Rig for depth charge. See you brought your rubbers. 